Hello everyone, welcome to the Tron Head demonstration on how to take a resistance check using a multimeter. The circuit that we will be testing is a simple series resistive circuit with two resistors. We'll refer to the top one as R1 and the bottom one as R2. R1 is connected to the positive side of the power section of this solderless breadboard and over to the circuit building area where we have one wire that connects R1 to R2 and back to the negative side of the solderless breadboard. The materials that you'll need to measure resistance are basically just the ohm meter and the leads that go along with it. I have the leads right here. These are all connected. The red is actually all one wire with the the red plug and the red probe and the black plug is connected to the black probe. On the multimeter you will see two ports. A common which you will need to connect to like so. Black usually goes to ground and red usually goes to either the voltage resistance port or the current port depending on what you're taking a measurement for. In this case you have a V for voltage and an ohm sign that's for resistance and MA stands for milliamps. On this particular meter you can you have to measure anything under 200 milliamps in this port. That's not typical but uh, we, we will cover current in a separate demonstration. So once you have your meter hooked up properly, it's important to set your meter to the proper settings. So in this case, we will set the meter to a proper range. 2000 ohms ought to do it for this particular measurement. So this is a 460 ohm resistor. We connected one lead to one side of the resistor and we connected the other lead to the other side of the resistor. Polarization does not matter for a resistance check. This is a power off check as well. There's no power applied to this circuit. So it's a 460 ohm resistor, but you notice we're reading 459. Well, that's because this particular resistor has a tolerance of 1%, so it could be off as much as 1% of its labeled resistance. You can tell what it is by looking at it by counting the, or by looking at the colors and, and referencing them to a chart, or if you have the color values memorized, you can do it that way, that's fine, or you can just measure it. Uh, we will cover color coding in a, a separate demonstration as well. So that's how to take a measurement for one resistor in a series circuit. If we wanted to measure the other one, it's the same value by the way, and we just disconnect and reconnect on either side of the next component, and you'll see it's 461, so it's a little high compared to the other, but it's still well within its 1% tolerance. Well, what if we want to test the total resistance of the whole circuit? Well, that's easy. We just connect to R1 and R2. And now the measurement is being taken across R1 through the wire and across R2 at the same time. And our total resistance is 921 ohms. Now, you notice there's an extra ohm in there. It's R1 plus R2. Should equal our total resistance, but we have an extra ohm. Well, that could be accounted for in what's usually negligible. The resistance of the, the wireless or the solderless wire board and the resistance of the wire and maybe some rounding that's going on inside of the measurement tool. Uh, one thing I did fail to mention that's worth mentioning is you notice that there are different values on the ohm measurement 200, 2000, 20k or 20,000, 200,000 and 20 mega ohms. 
the way you use that is anything under 200 ohms you would measure on the 200 ohm setting. This was over 200 ohms, so each resistor was over 200 ohms and less than 2000 ohms for the total circuit. So we picked 2000 ohms because it is the lowest scale that we can go to without exceeding that number in our measurement. That's why we picked 2000 ohms. If the uh, resistors were going to total to 3000 ohms, then we would have needed to go up to the 20k setting. If they were going to total to 21,000 ohms, then we would go to the 200k setting. Uh, that's all we have for resistance checks. It's really simple, really straightforward. I'm glad you joined me and, and learned this new skill. It's in your toolbox now. Join me again uh, another time, or maybe right away if you feel, for a quick demo and how to take a voltage check. Goodbye.